Hey guys, it's Nick here. I'm gonna be playing Kingdom Rush. It's a popular uh, tower defense game that started on mobile devices. I think it's available on Android and iPhone. And uh, it's been on Steam for quite a bit. And uh, I never, I bought it when it was on sale for like two bucks or something. And you know, I finally decided, I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's beat it on the Steam version while we're at it. So I'm gonna start off my, uh, you know, the gameplay videos here with episode one. So actually, can I get out of here? Quit. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start a new one because I think I put that on easy. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna put on normal because, yeah, about that life. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, start off with some pretty garbage. Um, I think towers at the beginning. Blah 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 blah. Click these to create tower. Woot! You get something. Barracks, archers, mages, artillery. Got it. So clearly now I'm gonna go just go build some arches over here, and as you guys can see, there's this is if you click the skull with the red circle around, this is the the wave will come like they'll come before the automatic timer, I believe. But I think on the first mission it doesn't actually do anything. And here's your health, which is how many guys can't go into here, and your gold obviously, and which wave you're on. These are we'll talk about a bit later. It's but it's basically your special moves. One of them is um, reinforcements, which is I think three soldiers or two soldiers, and the other one is uh, a special skill. Um, I believe it's a fireball in this game. I don't quite remember because I was I haven't played the first one in a while. I've been playing only the the second and third one, so we'll see what happens. Can't up these. They I can't up these. Okay, goblin, small evil human aids with no outstanding abilities, low health, average speed. Okay. Basically, little grunts. Incoming! I'm actually gonna build one more over here just in case. And I'm gonna build the soldiers when I can get. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna build these guys. Set the rally point about there. And now these guys are gonna stop these guys from coming in and it creates a bottleneck basically. Slow them down and get the two archers to basically double team them as you guys can see here. This guy's gonna get through, but oh maybe not, okay. There you go. Easy peasy. You can summon troops to help with that. Oh yeah, here's the reinforcement I'll talk about. So basically it should probably yeah, there we go. So now if I press two on my keyboard, I get these little guys here. Which are farmers with a I don't know what that is a scythe, I think it's called, and a pitchfork. Yeah, there we go. See now these guys go in, and they have way less health, way less health than these guys, but they still do some damage to the, the people who are going to be coming by. And as you can see, the the cooldown on it is like really, really small. <laughs> so you can just get like an abundance of them. I I don't know if they overlap or not. No, okay, well, I have three pair. Oh yeah, okay, so they're on a timer basically. So even if they don't lose all their health, they're on a timer still. Orc. Tough savages with light armor. Light armor, slow speed. Oh, okay, so these guys are gonna be a little, little pain in the butt over here. It's okay, I got my dirty farmers ready. Oh, this guy's about to get destroyed. Gang bang by the farmers. Oh. Wave 5 already. What's this? Some enemies wear different levels of armor that protects them against physical attacks. Then I resist from this. Armored enemies take less damage from marksmen, soldiers, and artillery. That's great. So one thing to note right out the bat is uh, the graphics are way better on the computer compared to a phone. I can tell you that much. I really wish they made the expansion packs. Well, actually, like the new Origins and I forget the other one. I don't know what the other one was called. Oh, that's the rally point, yeah. So, when you have a troop thing, if you press the blue flag, you have basically a rally range and you could pick where they want to go if you want to pick them, like closer front to this tower here or I'd like to keep them in the middle because it's more base and like they cover most of the road so like if anyone goes left or right they'll be good. Sometimes I put two sets and have one on the left one on the right and then they get like supreme bottlenecking going on here. I like to send the farmers out as bait and then kill the little slower guys first kill them off so the archers can focus on the bigger guys later on. 
As you can see, it's working. Yet again, we're also on the first mission, so I'm not going to be bragging yet. I'm probably going to die later on. The first mission, you can't upgrade any of them, because I have way more than enough money to upgrade them usually. Okay, oh, you're in a fire. Okay, so this is the asteroids. So basically, this is like your special attack. It has a pretty long cooldown, but as you can see, well, that's a pretty cool animation. Just put that bad boy there and make some AC-130 ham destruction on these guys. Even though there was no AC-130s back how many years ago this was? Thousands of years ago. Alright, I'm just gonna troll them now and put some infinite amount of deaths. You win. You're dead. I win! Three stars for me, boys! Oh yeah, that was the first mission. So now you get upgrades. Every time, each star gives you three points in... Well, each star gives you a point to spend on upgrades. So, the first tier, as you can see here, is salvage. So, marksman towers return 90% of their value in soul. So, if you buy a archer t archery tower and you want to sell it, you'll get 90% back in money compared to I don't know what it is exactly now. Um, toughness, barracks change soldiers more health. So, the barrack guys are going to have more health. Increase the wizard attack range. Increase the artillery attack damage. Adds two additional meteors. So, it increases meteor damage and increases meteor damage. So, basically, a bit longer spell cast. Oh wait, sorry. It increases artillery to attack damage. Okay, and then yeah, this one would basically prolongs the special, and this uh, well-fed farmer additional health and uh, deal a little bit more damage. So basically, the reinforcements will do some more stuff. So what I like to do at first is, um, uh, I think yeah, I think it's archery and then the range of these guys, and then I like to put the defense on these guys. I don't like to spend too much money on the mages and the artillery too at the beginning because they're kind of useless and they cost a lot. But anyways, let's go to the second part. Yeah, see so now I have level 2. So basically, here the soldiers, they get a little bit more stronger. The archeries, I think they become a little bit more damage. You know, basic upgrade-ish style gameplay. So another, I mean... Or a smart strategy people do is they'll put the arches here, so now the arches can act, act on both sides, right? Then you upgrade it, their range extended to way over more, but a second of uh, bigger than they need, and you're, you're good to go. So now the enemies come here, though they don't die, they don't die, they come here, and they're gonna die. Yeah, so you go, there you go. And, and basically trifecta Illuminati triangle kill them. I like how they give that the, up t the little tip after you buy your freaking tower. But that's useless, guys. Yeah, I'll just wait to get some money. Kill this guy, please. Thank you. I need money. I need money for this. There we go. Now put these guys up here. We're good to go. As you can see, the upgrades uh, are 110 for these ones. And I think I don't remember what that guy was, but I'm pretty sure it's not that much more. Oh no, it's a big army right here. Might have to bring out the fireballs. No, no, oh thank god. these there we go the boys are done for got him so I'm gonna wait till I get 110 by that oh they're both 110 110 this guy 110 this guy there we go oh boy look at the army here I'm just gonna I'm gonna use this for the funds dead See, basically now these guys have this whole, this whole like U-turn-ish covered. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah, spawn. Them. Oh yeah, if you spawn them early, you get extra money. Not much, but you still get extra money. The wolf with the U. <laughs> very fast, vicious creatures that can dodge melee attacks. Can dodge melee attacks, low health, very fast speed. So these guys are the ones you wanna slow them down as much as probably uh, possible with the reinforcements so they don't pass through the archeries archers 
because sometimes the archers might be busy and these guys are just gonna sneak on by to your home base. And that's never no bueno's. Ooh, upgrade this guy. I, didn't, I, I was supposed to help these guys, but I haven't done it yet. It's okay. Holy smokes, boys. No! There we go. All dead. <laughs> and they stood no chance for my wrath. Freedom! Oh no, I don't like this. This is not gonna be good. Oh, this is. Oh, one shot. I got one tap. Reinforce! More farmers. Yeah. Let's upgrade these bad boys. Oh, now they're like little knight guys. They're not little peasants anymore. These guys are updated to their maximum for now, so I just start building later on uh, a little bit lower down the road. You guys didn't know, I really like tower defense games because you can waste a lot of time playing them and they're pretty usually pretty fun to play with. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, no. Come on. Reinforcements! Reinforcements! Oh, oh, I saved you. Oh, this is not good, guys. This is not good at all. Oh, please. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oof. Aren't I lucky. See, this is what I mean by these wolves passing by through the top. Like, the road really quickly. Alright, so this is the last push, so I'm gonna kill all these guys. Oh, well, as much as I can. Anyway. Upgrade that. I usually try to upgrade the first ones to be the strongest and work my way down. Because as, as long as you, like they get a nice beating up at the like first half, the second, they, should, they won't have to work as hard and they'll just be hitting them like with their low health and stuff like that. As you can see, this they're pretty much done in this area because they got two, they got double dose damage here, and these guys just finishing them off basically. And I'm done, boys. It's three stars, 20, 20 lives left means three stars. So now I go to upgrades, and uh, I'm gonna get the piercing shots because those guys with armor are just gonna take all that damage up, and then I'm gonna get uh, some better armor. Just barrack chain soldiers with improved armor, so these guys can take a damn a beating too while they're at it. All right, let's go to the third mission here. Oh, this one looks fun. Seems like there's gonna be two paths to go in from, and then yeah, that's uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna go here. Seems like the smart choice is in this one, and I'll upgrade that one. I'm just gonna wait for some money and put uh, these guys here. Close down the road. No, the other way, the other way, the other way! Okay, fireball. Too early, but we gotta do it. Gotta give these guys a chance. Charge! I'm gonna put them right in the middle of the intersection over there. Hopefully something good comes out of it. Oh boy. I need to upgrade this guy though for sure. Good luck, men. 
this guy's gonna fast right through them. Oh, this is no buenos. This is no buenos for me. No, oh, no, this guy went right through. Oh, this guy went right through. I don't like this. Nope. Change sides, buddy. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These guys have to kill this guy. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Upgrade you right away. Let's go. I'm ready for these assholes. Get the wolves. Slow them down, guys. More damage. Nah, I'm gonna buy one here. When the time is right. Bow, 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 bow. I really like this music in this game. It's simple but yet catchy. I don't know, it just fits well, I find. That that tower defense like elevator music. <laughs> the Musax for tower defense. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you guys know any other good uh, tower defense games I should try and play. I'm always, I'm always on the lookout for some new tower games, That's, but there's not much that appeal to me. If, if it's kind of like Kingdom Rush, I'll probably like it. If it's like, I don't know, I don't know what other tower defense games really. I don't. That's all I've been playing. I haven't played like any recent ones because they all seem kind of too overly done and stuff like that. I like the simple plant and upgrade systems. Alright, so you're upgraded, and you're not upgraded yet. Hey, what are you doing, boys? Oh, sleeping on the job? What do I pay you for? Come on! Oh god. Uh, uh, okay, I'll these guys over here. Kill this guy, right, kill this guy. Kill this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. No, these guys, these guys, get him! Get him, I need my farmers! I need my farmers! Freedom! Oh jeez. Stress over 9,000. Get some early cash though. Okay, and I'll quit these guys. And now uh, I'm gonna put another one here. Another archer over here. Actually, I'll put a... Yeah, I'll put a... Bombers so you guys can see what they look like. And I'll try and put a mage there too. Reinforce, boys. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Oh no. Get him. Get him, boys. Oh, almost have enough for. Oh, actually, I'll wait for the bomb guys first. Bombers, bombers, bombers. There we go. Boom. The dwarven, dwarven bombers. Boom. So these guys do like an AOE damage. Well, what are these voodoo guys? Tribal healers resistant to magic attack. High magic resistance can heal allies. Average speed. Well, that's always okay. So you want to like focus target these bad boys here, so they can't heal your these their friendlies here, like these big guys. Because uh, that won't be any fun. Kaboom! Kaboom! These guys cost 220 to upgrade instead of uh, the standard 110. I'm gonna build a mage here. Come on, there we go. Mages cost 160. So 110, 160, 220 to upgrade to the second one. Well, the second tower level. <clears throat> It's more easier to play this game on the PC, I find, rather than a phone, because, you know, clicking and stuff, at least you have the quick a bit, like, quick movement speed of that mouse. You know, that's why PC games will always beat the consoles, for aiming at least. And pretty much everything else, but we won't talk about that on another day. <laughs> 
fuck you. No, I missed. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh, it has a health here. Oh, you're dead. Ooh. Goblin. 2021 20, out of 4. No armor. What life, I'm guessing. Well, look at this. We're getting like gangbanged by these arrows here. There ain't nothing surviving this clusterfuck of destruction. Yeah, maybe a bit, but the site's just done for. I'm gonna upgrade the, the mage so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, I got an achievement, Bloodlust. Upgrade. So it gets a bigger tower, does some more damage. Simple enough. No, too soon. Order. Big, ugly, and tough humanoids still obliterate everything in their path. Very high health, very slow speed, cost three lives. Oh yeah. So if this guy gets in here, I lose three hearts and I'll be at 17 and probably not get three stars. So this guy's like a boss, sort of. But I'm gonna, gonna give him a nice dosage of death over here. We did absolutely nothing. Mm. Kaboom. Oh, upgrade this guy. There we go, let's go. Triple, triple stack that guy. Now we gotta distract these guys so they can't heal. This guy's gonna die by himself. The strats, boys, the strats. Bye bye, you're dead. So proud of my men. They do so well. Everything is upgraded. What? Oh, oh not this guy. Okay. I was like, oh shit, there's two of them? Oh boy, this can be fun. Yawn, so slow to walk for here. I'm gonna hit this guy up first, cause uh, let's slow him down. Beat him! I need to kill this guy ASAP though. Boom! Alright, come on. Nice, now they have dynamite sticks. Boom! And obviously do way more damage. Can you guys kill this guy? Please? So many enemies. Kill the big guy. Nice, we win. It's over, boys. We did it, boys. Yay! Three stars for us again. Three for three. Oh, I unlocked a hero. Oh yeah, so heroes are basically kind of like the the farmers, the deployables, but obviously they're a hero. They could, uh, they all have different moves, um, and basically have different abilities, different uh, damage, health, range, uh, speed that they walk at, and <clears throat> basically you could place them anywhere you want on the map and they could, you know, help you. I usually try to keep them. It depends. It's, it's very situational where I keep them, but usually I try to keep them at like the back, back, so that if anyone goes through, uh, they'll have to face a hero before going entering my base. And from what I'm seeing here, you have to complete the camp. Oh, okay, well, stage six, stage eight, stage eight, stage nine, stage eleven, stage twelve. Complete the campaign. Complete the campaign. Complete the campaign. Complete the campaign. On the on the mobile phones, obviously you could buy them for 
I don't remember, four to five bucks or something like that, or two, three bucks. I think the more expensive ones are up to like seven or eight dollars, but those guys are like utterly OP. So I'm gonna pick Mr. Sir Gerald, Gerald Lightseeker or Gerald Lightseeker? I don't know. Okay, so upgrades. So now I have the range and the double in damage. So I'm gonna put, um,. Increase the digital the the range and then oh boy um 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 I'm gonna save my points actually because I want to get up these I want to start working up on the farmers because they're the most like useful thing I find that you use because you could constantly spam them and they could help so yeah I'm gonna I'm not gonna do anything for now and uh, I'll stop this episode right now and. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll play uh, Mission 4. Alright, see you guys.